Hey everyone, it's Nathan Orenstein from The No Show here to talk about Cassie Lemon's Harriet. Harriet stars Cynthia Erivo, Leslie Odom Jr., and Joe Alwyn, and is written by Gregory Allen Howard and Cassie Lemons. It's based on the life of abolitionist and escaped slave Harriet Tubman. When I first saw the trailer for Harriet, I was pretty underwhelmed. I think that Harriet Tubman is one of the most impressive and important people in American history, so I thought, at the very least, her incredible story could make for a great movie. Despite this fairly standard trailer, I knew that story would be there in this film. I went in expecting the type of biopic you'd see in an American history class or something, but sadly, I don't think Harriet even reaches that standard. I think that the root of most of this film's problems is that it's very much a Hollywood retelling of this story. Now, this is definitely not an inherent problem. There are plenty of biopics out there that take this more Hollywood approach to storytelling, and they pull it off really well. Unfortunately, Harriet just isn't one of those movies. While pursuing this bigger and bolder approach to storytelling, Cassie Lemons really loses any grip she had on the direction of this film. The tone changes every 10 minutes or so, and it's clear that she really didn't have a sense of how exactly she wanted to tell this story. The most notable aspect of Harriet that shows this problem is the acting. The actors here all come from a variety of different backgrounds, and they're all very talented in their own right. The problem is Lemons is unable to rein them in for a singular film experience. Overacting is a pretty huge problem here, and it makes a lot of the emotional scenes come off as hokey. In fact, there were really only a couple of scenes that packed a real emotional punch in my opinion, and this felt like a huge missed opportunity for this film. On the other hand, underacting was also a problem throughout the film, though much less prominent. Cynthia Erivo's performance as Harriet Tubman is riddled with both over- and underacting, and I was never able to really see her performance as being a believable one. This is unfortunately a pretty glaring issue, and I don't think this portrayal of Harriet Tubman really does her justice at all. The acting isn't the only contributing factor to the inconsistent tone, though. The pacing is also very inconsistent, and this causes the atmosphere to either move too quickly or to linger for too long on any certain feeling or emotion. For most of the film, things either feel too fast or too slow, and Harriet never really settles into an appropriate pace. This exact same thing can be said about the score. In my opinion, it's very rare for a score to be noticeably bad. With a typical score, you usually don't notice it at all, and it just kind of plays in the background of the movie. With a good score, it does help to establish an atmosphere, or to build one up even further. The score in Harriet seems like it's actively trying to destroy any previously established atmosphere. Songs will start and stop incredibly abruptly, often with completely different tones. And not only is this noticeable, but it's even jarring at times. All of these problems add up to make Harriet a very messy film overall. At the end of the day, Harriet is a pretty big disappointment, and my expectations really weren't even that high to begin with. It's pretty clear that Harriet was aiming to be a powerful and emotional film that would stand as a tribute to the impressive life and incredible accomplishments of Harriet Tubman. Unfortunately, the uneven tone never allows it to reach very many emotional highs, and it comes off as a pretty substandard biopic with not much to offer. It's really a shame because it is evident that a lot of effort and passion went into this film. It just never quite comes together. I don't think this is a horrible movie, but there isn't a single aspect of it that I would really call good either. Unfortunately, I can't see myself recommending this movie to anyone, and I'm going to give Harriet a 4 out of 10. If you liked the review, then go ahead and like and subscribe and click that bell to get notifications for whenever I post. If you have seen Harriet, I'd love to hear your thoughts down below in the comments, too. Stay tuned for my review of Motherless Brooklyn coming in a few days. I've been Nathan Orenstein with The No Show. Thanks for watching.